Hey guys, James here. I've got a little project uh, repair job that I'm working on. Thought I'd take the chance and show you how I TIG weld cast aluminum. I'm going to show you what I got and then I'll show you how I get it prepped and ready for welding and, and then how I weld it. Here's what I've got. It's, uh, it's off an outboard motor. Uh, this is off the back end of the jet pump that controls your forward and reverse and it has been hit and you can you can see it's been welded on before so so it's been cracked in this spot before so it was weak to begin with you can see the inside there it's got some nasty weld in there but uh, it's cracked most of the way through all the way across so I'm gonna clean that up and I'm gonna I'm gonna run a new beetle weld through here and uh, probably not going to worry about the inside too much it'll be strong enough to get a to get a good weld on on the outside here and I'll get the paint to, uh, cleaned off there and then uh, the next thing I'll need to do is I'm gonna go ahead and grind this old weld off and smooth it up I'll take a cutoff wheel and I'm gonna groove that in there and get uh, get in there a little bit deeper to get a deeper weld on it to make it a little bit stronger. I've got the paint taken off and I uh, have taken a flap wheel and sanded down most of the old weld and you can see the crack runs right up through that old weld and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a torch and I'm going to heat that up and, and as I heat it up that crack will, will show a little bit better and then I'll, uh, I'll clean it again and then I will take a grinding wheel and groove that out and clean it some more. All right, so I've heated it up and wiped it down. And also what that heating it up does is, is it helps draw out some of the impurities of the aluminum. And then you can wipe them down with acetone and a wire brush and, and get just a little bit more out of it. So now what I'm gonna do is it is separated. So I'm gonna put a clamp on it and pull it back together. And I'll take a grinding wheel and I'll groove that out. All right, you can see I've got it clamped back together and uh, I've got my groove where my weld's going to go. All I did was follow that crack from one end to the other and I grooved it out, oh, not quite half the thickness of the material. So that'll give me a, a deeper, stronger weld than what it had before. At this point, I've got everything as clean as I can get it and it's prepped so I'm going to weld it and the welder I use is a Lincoln 175 square wave I've got a number 9 torch with a 16th of an inch diameter 2% lanthanated tungsten and uh, I'll be using the 5356 filler rods whenever you're welding cast aluminum you just want to use enough heat to melt the piece that you're working on and to flow the puddle uh, you don't want a whole lot of heat to try to really get a lot of penetration. That's the, the point of putting the groove in there with the cutoff wheel is to get the, the deep weld. So the uh, machine that I'm using, the square wave, sets the AC balance for the right amount of cleaning action. So I'm just going to let the machine do the work and the least amount of heat that I can put in there and still move the pedal, uh, the better. And you, you might have to back up once or twice and get that puddle to flow and burn out the crud that's in there but just take your time and go slow and let the machine do its work so there you go guys that's the the finished weld it's welded all the way around and i welded the edges but like i said i didn't worry about the inside there it's really going to be strong enough the way it is so i didn't worry about welding the inside there but i did get a really good deep weld 
through the crack so I'm pretty happy with it and that's that's what it looks like and that's how I do it all right so that's all I got for tonight uh, leave me some comments if you got any questions about anything and uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time